Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and as you may realize, I'm kind of morally obligated to cover every conceivable pattern of Bergman pistol based on a series that I did several years ago. I actually really like the Bergmans, and here at Rock Island I ran into this slightly distinct Bergman 1910. It's got a different grip! And I'm pretty excited by it, so I'm going to drag you along and show it to you. Oh my goodness, a Bergman with a slightly weird grip! Someone call Forgotten Weapons! It's, it's kind of cliché, but it's also kind of true. So what happened here is the grip has been manufactured to be just slightly angled back compared to the standard 1910 or 1910-21 Bergman. So here's the standard pistol, and it's honestly a little hard to tell the difference, but let me pull the grips off and then you can see it more obviously. All right, now we have our angled grip and our standard grip, and if I line those up exactly, you can see there that the angled grip is, well, angled back. It's also worth pointing out that this angled grip gun has two grip screws instead of the standard one. Uh, obviously standard grips are not going to fit on this pistol because they don't line up properly. These angled grips are serialized to the same pistol, 8800, and they're nicely carved on the inside, and that looks appropriate and authentic. There's our number 8800 on the gun. Now there are two other slightly different elements. One of them is that this grip panel has been deliberately made high enough to cover the safety lever. If we look at a standard Danish 1910-21, you'll see that the grip uh, sits underneath the safety lever there. And the sights on this are a very much a square uh, rear notch and a square front post. The original Danish pistols have a barley corn front sight, and you can actually see there's a slight difference in the front sight profile as well. And the original Danish gun on the right here has a V-notch rear sight. So in addition to its grips, this has been given, and it appears to be given from the factory, a set of sights that are more suitable for target shooting than for combat shooting. Uh, the square post is more precise, uh, it's, you'd never see target shooters with barley corns if they can avoid it. Now here's one interesting conundrum about this pistol. Uh, when AEP made the Bergman pistols, it was pre-World War I, uh, and up through a little bit of, of manufacture during German occupation, and they were made as the 1910 pattern, which in which the grips end right about here. It was not until uh, 1921, when the Danish military wanted to get more of these pistols, that they made a couple of changes, most notably changing this grip to make it taller and more comfortable. AEP was no longer making pistols, so the Danes put their own into production. And what's interesting to me is that this, by all, as far as I can tell, this appears to be a factory manufactured AEP version of the gun, but it has grips that were only designed after AEP stopped making the guns. So someone, as far as I can tell, retrofitted this gun with a new style of grip after the Danish contract came out, after the Danish uh, production pistols, after the Danes made these design changes. Or was this somehow associated with the Danish purchase? Um, perhaps this was a grip style that AEP tested, tinkered with? This 8800 serial number puts it right in the middle of the Danish production series, which ran from the 6000s to the 11000s. Um, possibly something that the Danes were, uh, were considering that early and decided not to adopt at that point during production? I just don't know. It's a very interesting question to me. I mean, as far as really, really obscure niche questions about Bergman pistol production are interesting to anybody. There are a couple things that come to mind for me with a pistol like this. Uh, one is that there kind of are no hard and fast absolutes when it comes to firearms development history. There's always that one prototype that was a little bit earlier than something else, or a gun like this that's a one-off variation on an otherwise standard pistol. And sometimes there's just no explanation for why, but it is in fact a legit factory-made variation. I also like the idea that there are people out there who didn't quite like the exact features, and they wanted it tweaked just a little bit to be 
just perfect. And we obviously still see that today, not just with firearms, but especially with firearms. And so the idea that someone would think, I really like that Bergman 1910 pattern, but I want a little more grip angle, I want the, the Danish 1921 style of grips, and by the way, I want a square sight notch and post instead of a barley corn. Hey, you know what? I get it. I feel you, man. <laughs> it is, in fact, a really cool pistol. And I think it these those three changes really do improve it over the standard 1910, but uh, the 1910 pattern is what was manufactured. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're not too bored with me covering yet another odd Bergman. Uh, thanks for watching.